I have to go to work now. I do not want to run late. My head aches. I feel like someone is banging a rod on my head. Let me manage and go to work. Are you all right, Tina? I am having a terrible headache. Maybe you have to take some pain reliever. I have tried so many medications but nothing has changed. And you have a presentation at work today. I am not sure I can present anything today. The MD is not going to be happy with that. But I am sick, very sick. You have to come and drive this car, Faith. Just pull over let me do the driving. Good morning ma'am. How well are you prepared for the preparation? I will not be able to present today ma'am. I do not understand what you are talking about. I am having a terrible headache. It is not my business. You are standing before me spilling what I don't understand. I ask you again, are you ready for today's presentation? Yes, ma'am. That is what I want to hear from you. You can leave my office now. Thank you ma'am. Nonsense. What is the matter with this lady? Good morning sir. My name is Tina. Good morning, Tina. You can continue with your presentation. You can go on with your presentation, Tina. Are you alright? What is going on? My head hurts. the nail on the head. <sighs> Strike. We have a problem Mrs. Gifts. What is the problem sir? The lady presenting to me at the conference hall just collapsed. How are you feeling now? I am getting better. When you were complaining about your headache this morning, I didn't know it was this serious. I told the MD I would not be able to do the presentation, but she did not listen to me. I was about to present when everything just went blank. When I opened my eyes I realized I was in the hospital. Helen stand in for you. I am so sorry about your health. Thank you for checking up on me. The doctor said you will be discharged tomorrow. Thank you. Why are you standing here crying alone Tina? The presentation was done by Helen as you said. I went to the MD's office this morning and she said the file has been withdrawn from me. Why? The file has been given to Helen to manage. She said I should go and take care of myself and stop being an embarrassment to the company. Has this happened to you before? You know I joined this company a few months ago. This is the third time this will be happening. Anytime I am about to achieve something good, this headache will show up and before I know it, I will pass out. This is very strange. Have you prayed over it? I prayed and nothing seemed to be happening, so I stopped. You shouldn't have stopped. I have administered different medications, but nothing seems to change. I am so sorry about this things happening to you. I have worked so hard on that file, just to be taken away from me. I feel so bad right now. Don't feel bad. You will have to continue praying. What kind of spiritual attack is Tina going through? I feel so sorry for her. Anytime anything good is coming her way she will fall sick and pass out. That is strange. But she said she had been praying, how come she has not gotten her deliverance? Tina is going through a lot. If what is happening to Tina lingers, I'm afraid she might lose her job. The MD is a very difficult woman. Lord Jesus, please have mercy on Tina, I do not want her to lose her job. Heal her from her infirmities according to your word. I see you are so worried about your new friend. I am so worried about her health and job, I just wish I could help. 
What I do not understand is she said she had been praying about it and nothing seems to change. Hump. There are so many things believers are ignorant of. There are rules in the realm of the spirit. It is good to pray but prayers without knowledge will yield no result. Most time believers need spiritual capacity to fight spiritual battles. The enemy does not bow to you if you are spiritually empty. Remember even at a time when the disciples couldn't cast out demons. Believers have to grow in spirit so they can dominate over demons. This is deep. How do we grow as believers? How do we dominate the darkness as believers? The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 17 verse 21 Hope eat this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. When you fast and pray your spirit man becomes alive and your flesh is dead. You are quickened in your spirit when you fast and pray and you become spiritually powerful, strengthened, and alert. Why did you think our Lord Jesus went into the wilderness to pray and fast? Because flesh needs to die so the spirit man can come alive. If our Lord Jesus could fast and pray before he began his ministry then we as believers should not joke with fasting and prayer. If you are praying about something and it seems nothing is happening then means you need to add more force and that force is fasting. You become a giant in the spirit when you pray and fast. Most believers pray in the flesh not in the spirit. After our Lord Jesus ended his fasting of 40 days and 40 nights, the heavens were opened unto him. Romans chapter 8 verse 5 For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Verse 10 And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Believers cannot underestimate the power of fasting and prayer. Thank you sir for this powerful insight. Who are you and how do you know this thing so well? Angel of light sent by the Father. I have been speaking to an angel. Fasting and praying. You don't seem happy. I am tired, frustrated and exhausted. Did you say you have been praying? I think you should try fasting and praying to gather more strength to pray. I do not like fasting. Then you cannot dominate spiritually. Even our Lord Jesus fasted and prayed. Most believers are so lazy to fast and pray that is why the devil torments them so much. Fast and pray so you can take dominion. Thank you, Faith. I will fast and pray. And you will get your victory in Jesus' name. Thank you Jesus for the strength to fast and pray. Lord Jesus, I dominate over every work of darkness in my life. I dominate according to the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19 Behold I give unto you power to tread in serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt me. 1 John chapter 3 verse 8 B For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Every evil work of sickness in my body is destroyed in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 15 verse 13 But he answered and said every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted, shall be rooted up. I root out every root of sickness in my body in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. With his stripes, I am healed in Jesus' name. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal there if they wound. My health is restored in Jesus' name. Thank you Jesus for affliction will not rise again in my life in Jesus' name. Thank you Jesus for the answer prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. It's my presentation today and I am so nervous. You don't have to be nervous. The Lord of Hosts is with you. The Lord of Hosts is with me. Thank you so much Faith. You may proceed.
Wow! Beautiful presentation, I loved it. Thank you, Ma. How was it? Jesus did it. Thank you, Jesus.